There is more to the bowling sectionals than just a pin count. Here's Dan Vates. It's an atmosphere unlike any other, and one you may not expect. On Valentine's Day, students and parents alike made t-shirts, cheered loud, and even painted their faces at a one-of-a-kind girls Section 5 Bowling Championship. So the face paint and everything like that, you guys just here for here for support? Yeah, we're just here to support the girls' team. Have fun. We, we got together around 8.30 and just got in the car, came here and started painting our faces. It's intense. They get down there and they start bowling and it's just intense. Even if, if you get a strike, it's the best feeling. Just watching the girls bowl, trying to uh, give some school spirit to girls, uh, cheer them up, pep them up a little bit. Does the costume help them bowl better? You know, it uh, gets a laugh out of them to like uh, relieve the nerves that they have before they start bowling, so trying to get the nerves out of them. Many boys bowlers showed up in support of their teammates. Hey, so Ryan, why are you here today? Uh, to root on for Hilton. Um, won sectionals last year, we're really rooting for him again to do that again. So, you know, your crowd has kind of got some face paint on, some hats and stuff like that. What's that like? It's really exciting. We're really, really supportive fans. So, we're looking forward to a good day for Hilton. And some didn't think face paint was enough. It's amazing, like every year is like better, better and better. All these good bowlers are bowling great. My team's growing up so much with this team. It's just amazing. Do you think the pins, the haircut, does it help the team? It's, it's definitely helping the team. Every, every year, they all like it. They all smile for it. They all want to bowl good for the team. It's just a great day, great day. The pressure and intensity of the championship can even get to some of the best bowlers. I know you've been here before, but what's this atmosphere like? It's really overwhelming because you want to bowl your best and you have like everybody watching you. So like you have like a whole bunch of pressure to bowl well and do your best. Notabark finished sectionals averaging 219 over the six games, which was good for third for girls individuals. She'll be bowling on scholarship for Sam Houston State next year in college. How have you been bowling so far? How have the first two games gone for you? Uh, my first game was 238 and this game was 226. Because like you want to make states and it's my last year and I'm really trying to do the best I can and go to states again. While some teams and bowlers are focused on capturing a sectional crown, new schools like World of Inquiry are just enjoying the atmosphere of their first appearance. It's a Rochester City School, and we're gonna be the first K-12 building in the district. We decided to grow our elementary school out, so it was a K-6 school, and every year we've grown one year. Next year will be full K-12. Our girls team has five bowlers, and our boys team has um, eight. So being a first year varsity program, they've actually competed very well and um, are enjoying it tremendously. What's it like here being at your first ever sectional finals? It's definitely overwhelming. Um, I didn't know what to expect. The bleachers, the crowds, the cheering. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm definitely enjoying it. What's this like? Crazy. <laughs> I never expected I'd ever be here at all. So last year we were a first year team and we weren't doing too great, but this year we're doing a lot better. What were your girls' expectations coming into sectionals tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I don't know, it's the first year we just coming in being like, oh, hey, we're here. It's kind of a big thing. We don't have that big of a school, and it's kind of impressive that we're here. You wouldn't think about bowling sectionals being like this exciting. It's really amazing, really. I love it. For the Vision High School Sports Beat, I'm Dan Fates.